So today I got another Switch review for you and this time it's a tactile. In this keyboard, I have the Echo CS Ocean Blue Switches. The Echo CS series switches are considered really good budget options if you're new to the hobby or are just trying to build on a budget. They come at a super affordable price of 22 cents USD per switch or $9.99 for 45 switches, meaning you can support most layouts for just $20. They have an n-gram force of 46, a tactile gram force of 45, 4 millimeters of travel, 1.9 millimeters of pre-travel, and tactile position of 0.5 millimeters. I'll leave a link to the switches in the description for you to check out the statistics when you get the chance. Now, looking at these values won't ever give you a clear idea of how the switches will sound or feel, especially since there are so many factors that could affect this. However, I will do my best to describe it. I am using the switches as I typed this review, and I have to say that they're really good. I only have a few tactiles like the lychee, kiwis, and navies, and I'd say these are pretty high up there. Keep in mind that this is the looped experience, which I will say if you get these switches, you should definitely loop them. The travel is super clean and smooth, and all throughout the key press, that's right, somehow the tactile bump is sharp while still feeling really, really smooth. It makes the actuation feel almost like a sharp snap. Not only does it feel like that, but it sounds like that too. It has a really nice clack when you bottom out. The switch isn't perfect, however. There is a sound that happens while typing that is not something I can really ignore. When typing at faster speeds, you can hear and feel a rattle inside the switch. And that's really frustrating. This small inconsistency basically ruins a nice typing experience that I would dare say is nearly perfect. I'll be typing away and enjoying myself when I start to hear this consistent rattle that draws my attention away from everything else that I'm doing. This may not be noticeable to everyone, but it definitely is to me, and so it kind of ruins the experience. Here's a sound test, and maybe you can tell. That being said, do I recommend the switches? Yeah, but take it with a grain of salt. They still feel really nice and are super affordable, but I recommend these mostly because I don't have another tactile switch that I can recommend in this price range. That may be my fault because I don't really use tactiles that often, but newcomers aren't really looking to spend $50 for nice switches when you could get something like this for 20. I do have reserves supporting Echo, mostly because of the whole cloning controversy that exists around them. I won't judge people for buying clone kits because of their quality and because it's affordable. In the end, it's the manufacturer's fault for doing this when they really ethically shouldn't be. But that's a conversation for another time. In the end, they feel great, they sound great, and they just have an unfortunate problem that seems to be due to the leaf pinging, which is not really worth replacing. But in reality, the only way you'll know if you like them is to try them. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you have a nice day. Happy typing and stay square.
Thank God, now I can finally take these out. <laughs>